High efficiency low water washers provide better cleaning while using less water and energy. These washers operate and sound different than traditional agitator washers. Let's look at a few of the differences. Before starting the cycle, you will need to add detergent. Because low water washers use less water than traditional washers, a high efficiency or HE detergent that produces less suds is needed for cleaning and rinsing. Look for the HE label on the box or bottle. Add the measured HE detergent into the detergent dispenser at the center of the drawer. If your model does not have a dispenser drawer, add detergent to the wash basket before loading any garments. If you wish to use fabric softener, add the measured amount into the fabric softener dispenser. Do not fill any dispenser past the max fill line because overfilling could cause the product to empty too soon. Now load the washer. Do not load garments directly over the center of the wash plate like this. Correct any items that lay over the wash plate. Add items in loose heaps evenly around the wash plate. For best results, load items no higher than the top of the basket. Close the lid and select your desired cycle. It is important to understand that each cycle has been designed to optimally clean specific load types and soil levels. For example, we are selecting the normal cycle because we have an average size load of everyday wear with light to medium soils. If your machine has a quick or express cycle, these cycles are intended for one to three items. Or if I had this load with heavy soils or a larger load, I would select the heavy duty or power wash cycle. More details on these load types and soil levels can be found on the cycle guide page of the use and care guide. When using fabric softener, you will also need to push the fabric softener button to ensure dispensing at the appropriate time and with the proper amount of rinse water. Press the start button to begin the cycle. The sensing light will turn on and you will hear the lid lock, unlock, and lock again in order to allow for proper load sensing. Let's take a listen. This is part of normal operation and the beginning of the sensing sequence. Locking the lid allows for high speed spinning and helps contribute to the high efficiency of these washers. Once the lid is locked, these low water washers work differently to sense load size and fabric type. The first thing you will notice is that no water enters the washer for up to two to three minutes. The washer is determining the load size through a series of spins of the dry load. This process also identifies potential out of balance loads. After the load size has been determined, the washer adds water, briefly moves the load, and then pauses to allow time for the water to soak into the load. Depending on the load size, intervals of spins, fills, and pauses will continue until the right amount of water is added. If you need to add a garment after the lid has locked, press the Start Pause button to pause the cycle. The lid LED will begin to blink, and the lid will unlock once the basket has come to a complete stop. This can take up to two minutes if the basket is spinning. Be sure to close the lid and press start. You will hear the lid lock again. During the wash cycle, you may notice that the washer is filled with significantly less water than a traditional washer. This low level of water cleans the clothes effectively and efficiently through the following actions. The unique wash plate moves the clothes against each other to loosen and lift dirt and stains. Clothes move from the center to the walls of the wash basket and roll under the water to reappear in the center. Items will be wet, but may not be completely under the water at all times of the cycle. This is normal for a low water washer and saves water and energy and reduces wear on the clothing without sacrificing cleaning performance. During this portion of the cycle, 
you will hear sounds like this. This is completely normal. Toward the end of the wash cycle, you may notice shorter back and forth motions of the wash plate to ensure the load is evenly distributed prior to drain and spin. At the end of the wash cycle, the wash water will empty through the drain hose at the back of the washer. Let's listen to drain sounds. During the rinse portion of the cycle, you will hear similar sounds to the wash portion as the washer thoroughly rinses the load. During the final spin, the washer spins the load at variable speeds in order to protect clothing, maintain balance, and maximize water removal. The basket progresses through periods of spinning and coasting to achieve the highest spin speed, which saves drying time and energy. If the load is out of balance, the washer will proceed through a series of agitation and slow spins while adding water in an attempt to correct the out of balance situation. This will add to the total cycle time. While the basket is coasting to a final stop, you may not hear any sounds coming from the washer. Once the spin portion of the cycle is over and the basket has stopped spinning completely, the washer will automatically unlock and the done indicator will light up. Notice how the higher spin speeds removed more moisture from the clothes. You may even notice some dry spots on certain lightweight fabrics. This is due to the higher spin speeds and will reduce dry time. While high-efficiency, low-water washers operate and sound differently than a traditional agitator washer, the benefit to you is better, gentler cleaning while using less water and energy.